Okay, in this chapter we're going to talk about using some filters in World Machine. Some of the ones we're going to use are the terrace filter. We're going to show how to use clamps and also to use curves to modify output height maps. So let's start it out. Go to generator and put a radial gradient here. Double click the device and let's change the type to cone and adjust the radius with the slider. And say OK. Now under filter, the third one over is terrace, which will create this st uh, stair stepping effect. So we'll hook these up together and immediately see the results on the left. If you double click terrace on the, you'll be able to see the amount of uh, terraces and the terrace layering, uh, terrace within each one of the, the larger terraces. You can also mess with the shape, which is similar to adjusting curves. Now another option you have is the terrace modulation. And that's another input for height field. So we can use any other generator and feed that in into the modulation. So let's use our favorite Veroni once again. Adjust some scale. And we'll start with this. We'll plug it into the modulation. And you can already see the results. So we'll lock our preview here and adjust the Veroni scale here. And you can see how it, it affects and modulates the terrace get more variety and it, it seems less procedural this way. We'll try some of the F1 cells. Remember these were kind of the sci-fi-esque extrusions. But now they create this nice layered broken effect. So that looks kind of interesting. We'll double click Terrace again and adjust the scale. Now let's go in our 3D preview. And there's, I feel like there's some cool things going on here, but we should build it and, and double check. The top is definitely a little unnatural with the cone point on there. So we can try to take that away by going to the curve filter. Now curve is under filter. So it's the fourth one over. We can left click and add that to our workspace and hook it up after a uh, terrace. Now with with curves, there's some presets on the right, and you can cycle through those and see the results. I had to uncheck the lock preview on Terrace and make sure we're, we're locked on the most uh, recent device here. So we can cycle through the presets. Linear, again, is a straight line, which is, would be exactly what we start with. And you can see the, the effects the other curves have. Now the cool thing is you can also manually draw in the line like this. So if we don't want the top to, to have that point, we can kind of have it come to a plateau or you can make volcanoes by carving it back down on the top. So I'm trying to cut off the height at around 75% here. You have a lot of control here. Now again, something to take note of is when you build your file, you can actually build at any stage. Sometimes you, I've accidentally built before erosion and it, you know, I, th I thought something was broken, but I just hadn't hadn't built at the end stage, so keep that in mind. So I'm plugging erosion at the end of the curves here. Go back into our pre presets and use classic WM plus power. My favorite. Now this is nuking out a lot of the details, so I'm going to jump back in the erosion settings and take down the erosion base duration. And I still want some of that layering that we got from the terrace modulation. So here's our results. Now there's some real spiking here, and that's a result of the really steep fall off with the F1 cells. So let's try to soften those edges. We'll go back to our device view here. And you can see those are the harsh, harsh edges that are still coming through even after the erosion in some cases. So let's try to take care of it by going into filter and we'll choose blur on the right side it's blur so you can click that and let's add that in in between our Veroni and our terrace now you can double click blur and just adjust the radius softens the values and we probably just need a few pixels of radius so let's build this once again and check it out still a little bit of spiking but it's uh, definitely improved from what we were just looking at 
essentially anytime you have too much noise and you want to soften it, just uh, use a blur filter and tweak it until you like it. Now in this next example, we have another radial grid set to a pyramid shape. And we have another uh, layout generator as the mask. So I'm going to adjust the fall off real quick. So the layout generator is actually helping us shape the mountain. Again, this is how we got the chasm blocked in on our demo level for the mountain. And we have a combiner mixing uh, Veroni with these. Let's change it to additive. So if we go to filter and choose clamp, we can drop that in the middle here. And you can clamp off the height values and minimum values, just give, giving you further control. It's really similar to adjusting levels in Photoshop, if you've, if you've ever done that. And remember, with height maps, we are working with just a grayscale image, white being the highest and black being the lowest. So if you think of it that way, um, you could kind of see behind the scenes of what's going on here and understand the things you're adjusting. Now let's try a clamp on the mountain. With with the Veroni, it was a uh, it was already low powered, so clamping it even less uh, didn't didn't have very good results. So let's add a clamp in between our mountain. Now now we could uh, make sure we get more of the Veroni coming through. So clamp is a similar function that you would use the curves for. Just a different kind of different interface. Now inverter is extremely helpful. You can flip whatever is there. So a Veroni, the inverse of that, you can actually see some of the shapes. Not, not a lot of options with the inverter, pretty basic. Another filter worth exploring is the expander. So let's double click that and add it in. Take a look. Let's change the filter type to square and we adjust the, the distance. We start with these thin ridge lines and it expands out and you know it just I, I really like some of the layering that happens when you do that. These interesting plateaus. Circular is another option. Um, I, I could see a lot of cool shapes forming here especially with the erosion. And just another useful filter is a simple transform. This gives you some of the options that were also found in the advanced Perlin. So yeah, there's quite a bit of control with the transform and definitely worth playing around with. So that just about sums up our chapter. We talked about terracing, terrace modulation, using a different height map or procedural generation. We talked about blurring to take out some of the noise from your height maps. We used the clamp to clamp our ranges and our height values. And we used curves in a similar way, but to help shape our, our height maps. We also use the expander filter to get some interesting bleeding between shapes. Lastly, discuss the simple height transform, which gives you some of the options that were found in the advanced Perlin. Thank you.